Hi guys, I am Ayan and I am here to preview uh, the next encounter between uh, India and Bangladesh to be played at the Adelaide Oval on Wednesday. It's an important game for both teams. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. Let's first begin by talking about the form of both the teams heading into this contest. Uh, India lost its last game against South Africa and rather convincingly. So that's put them in a, well, a spot of bother really. Uh, it's still very much within the control, the chances of qualifying for the semis, uh, but uh, they need to make sure that they put up their best performance against Bangladesh. Bangladesh, on the other hand, uh, well, <laughs> I don't exactly know what adjective to use to describe their last win against Zimbabwe. Uh, let's call it frenetic. To I think that does justice to the way the game ended. But yes, nevertheless, a win for them, so they will be high on confidence. Uh, let's look at the, the, the two teams now. Uh, India made one change they had uh, Deepak Kuda playing for Aksar Patel uh, in the last game against South Africa. Uh, there is a possibility that they might stick with him to strengthen their batting. Uh, we don't know yet uh, what uh, DK's condition is, whether he'll be fit uh, for the match. Uh, if he isn't, uh, we might also see Rishabh Pant uh, coming in. Uh, let's not forget uh, the, the Bangladesh bowling attack, uh, you know, the chief Spinner, Shakib Al Hassan is a left arm spinner, so left armer bowling to a left armer, always a good uh, matchup for the batting team. Uh, as for uh, Bangladesh, uh, they wouldn't want to tinker much with their winning combination. Uh, let's talk about the bowling uh, units here uh, briefly. Uh, I've got uh, the team sheet in front of me, and Tasneem Ahmed has been uh, really the only uh, bright spot for Bangladesh. He's got eight wickets. Uh, he's, he's bowled at a good economy rate. He's bowled. Uh, well up front with the new ball which is great news for Bangladesh but beyond him there hasn't been too many uh, you know there haven't been too many pluses for the Bangla Tigers Mr. Bizur Rahman uh, in patches has done his job but they would want him to be uh, you know more consistent Shakib has struggled you know that that really has caused uh, troubles for the Bangla Tigers uh, in comparison India's bowling has been quite good Mohammad Shami was brilliant against Pakistan Ardeep Singh, who uh, was initially picked in the squad as a bet over specialist, has really flourished in his new role as a new ball bowler in the absence of Jaspeet Bumrah. The, the, the spin uh, department uh, needs to be uh, you know, uh, looked into. Ravichan Nashwin was hammered against uh, South Africa. Uh, uh, David Miller took a liking to him. Of course, uh, again, some numbers here in front of me Adelaide Oval, uh, off spinners don't really uh, you know uh, enjoy bowling their, their average is close to 32 in comparison to leg spinners who are averaging close to 24 quite the difference there so there's a case for even getting in uh, Yusbrinder Chahal for Ashwin uh, a bit about uh, the ground now Adelaide Oval unlike MCG has shorter square boundaries and very long straight boundaries so the fast bowlers will try to go full and straight spinners likewise both stump to stump don't give the batters too much uh, width to work with because then they will cut you or pull you for six. Uh, in terms of batting, uh, that's where India really seems to have an upper hand at the moment over Bangladesh, despite their uh, misfiring top order. So, uh, you know, the, the matchup between uh, Tuskeen Ahmed and the Indian openers uh, in the first six overs could very well dictate the momentum of the game. Uh, there's been a bit of rain around in Adelaide, well, there's been a bit of rain around everywhere in Australia at the moment, so it could well have a say on uh, the outcome of the match. In case, and we hope that doesn't happen, in case there's a washout, both teams will split a point. Let's not forget there are no reserve days for the league games. Guys, there will be uh, one for the semis and uh, for the final, but there's, there are none for the league games. So, uh, if it is a washout, then that's, that, that's going to put India in a tricky position because then that means that their last game against Zimbabwe will be a must win and they also have to see how other teams fare. Uh, Bangladesh will also be in the hunt. Pakistan has been very thin chances but will still be alive. The one advantage that India will have is that they are going to play that last game on the 6th so they will have a fair idea of how the group is, has rather progressed until then. Uh, so yeah, all the makings of, of a great clash, well you think of India-Bangladesh recently, well can't think further than the 2018 Nidhaz Trophy. Too bad Dinesh Karthik's a doubt to start for this one, but I'm, uh, <coughs> beg your pardon, I'm sure uh, there's, there's makings of a uh, classic here and we'll be keeping a close eye on all the proceedings, there'll be live blogs, inputs, insights from sports stars, so do stay tuned. This is Ayan signing off, thank you so much.